What's going on, y'all? What it is? So let's go ahead and slide on this incredibly sad story. So there was a TikToker by the name of Kyle Marissa Roth who passed away. Now, apparently she passed away last week and a lot of people who follow her page was looking for her because they hadn't heard from her in over a week or so. But her mom announced on social media, I believe it was LinkedIn, that, you know, her daughter had passed away and that she was clueless to how her daughter passed away. Like the family doesn't even know how she passed away. Now there are some rumblings that Kyle had some colon issues and things of that nature. And she alluded to the fact that if she came down with colon cancer or something like that, blame JLo because JLo had her TikTok page banned based off of the clips that Kyle was showing in regards to her critique of JLo's documentary that she recently came out with that bombed and a lot of people were clowning her talking about she was from the block running wild down the street and things of that nature so i didn't even know that j lo had a documentary so that's how out of touch i am when it comes to anything dealing with her but anyway let me go ahead and be a little bit more specific in regards to why kyle said that if she came down with colon cancer to blame j lo it was based off of the fact that she had an account on tiktok that had seven hundred thousand followers right and so basically that was her bread and butter. So given the fact that her account ended up getting banned from TikTok because of all the copyright strikes she received from posting clips from JLo's documentary, it crippled her financially. And so basically she's blaming JLo. Now I will say that it's probably the production company, not JLo personally, because you know, of course her documentary is going to be copyrighted. You can only play so much of it. And to be honest, fair use is only going to get you so far if you try to come with that claim. Now, Kyle had a very tremendous catchphrase that captivated her audience before she did her TikToks. She would say, if you want more, I'll give you more. And so she was very popular for reading blind items, dealing with certain celebrities. Now, in my assessment of her TikToks, there were three main targets and those targets were Diddy, the Kardashians and J-Lo. And so a lot of her fans, they're looking at Diddy, the Kardashians and J-Lo with the side eye like, what in the hell happened to this woman? And again, let me reiterate that her mom and her family doesn't even know what the hell happened to this lady. Now, a lot of people that followed her and had a relationship with her, they're saying that she had substantial evidence and receipts in regards to the connection between Diddy and Kris Jenner. Now, I've been told that those TikToks that was exposing the connection between Kris Jenner and Diddy have been removed via request of the family because they're trying to do some digging themselves to see what in the hell happened to their loved one. And it's also been expressed to me that Kris Jenner may have a heavy hand into human trafficking, allegedly. So to break all of what I'm saying down to its lowest compound, a lot of people feel that this was a orchestrated hit by who? It remains to be seen. So what I want to do right now is play you guys some clips and we're going to kick this thing off with Kyle talking about J-Lo and then also coming on camera crying about her account being banned and things of that nature. And then following that, there are going to be clips of people talking about this situation because a lot of people have a lot of questions that they don't have answers to, again, including Kyle's family. So sit tight and I'll be back to give you my two cents and close the video. TikTok's Jennifer Lopez the Bronx controversy explained. This is the J. Lulu deep dive vault track. This article was published in Forbes yesterday, March 31st, featuring me. Jennifer Lopez's new documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, has sparked controversy and backlash on TikTok after clips featuring Lopez talking about her upbringing in the Bronx went viral. Lopez is in the midst of a pivotal career moment, having released the album This Is Me Now and the accompanying musical film This Is Me Now, A Love Story, as well as The Greatest Love Story Never Told, a documentary exploring the relationship between her and husband Ben Affleck. Wait, wait, there's a, wait, there's a musical film and then there's a documentary? Wait, what? And I read this article. <laughs> what? <laughs> In the trailer for the documentary, Lopez says the greatest love story never told is about facing the truth of who you really are. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, Lu had a vision and it did not, I'm not seeing it uh, manifested. On TikTok, that sentiment has very much backfired as creators on the video sharing app. In this that Lopez is misrepresenting herself. What? Happened on TikTok with Jay Lulu. Many TikTok commentators see Lopez as performative and insincere, accusing her of exaggerating her working class background as well as her connection to the Bronx. Or in 
orange string if you know you know. Orange skin if you know you know. I know I have it. One clip that inspired many mocking imitations sees Lopez tussle hair while looking in the mirror reminiscing on her upbringing in the Bronx. I like taking my hair out like this. She says it reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. Crazy little girl. He's wild no limits dreams. 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. Crazy little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love that girl's laugh. <laughs> Residents of the Bronx responded on the video sharing app, calling Lopez out for alleged lack of contribution and connection to the neighborhood, or simply laughing in response to the clip. One TikTok creator, Photos by Angela, shout out Photos by Angela, posted a video alleging that she and Lopez had gone to the same high school and claims to have waited for years before speaking out, having been annoyed in silence. In the TikTok clip, she bluntly accuses Lopez of lying and using reasons of the Bronx to look human. We both attended an all-girls school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood, so we weren't running up and down the block. She says, and by the way, she never said she went like to school with J. Lulu. She said she went to the same high school as J. Lulu. She graduated. I think she might have been a little bit younger, but that doesn't invalidate the fact that her experience is her experience. I, I saw her getting dragged for that, and she literally never said that she went, like was her classmate. She just said that she went to the same school as her. I went to the same school as Buzz Aldrin. Other clips from the documentary also drew attention from TikTokers, seemingly showing Lopez to be self-absorbed. Others dived into previous interviews with the star and came to similarly negative conclusions regarding her character, saying you can't think of a single movie Gwyneth Paltrow has been in while being primarily known for illustrious roles such as Geely and Made in Manhattan Yourself is Wild. Like, I'm even, I even uh, will defend Gwyneth Paltrow on that. Like, she was in Talented Mr. Ripley. Seven? Seven is like the, the most scary movie in the entire world to me. Another clip blew up, this time from a Vogue interview in which Lopez reveals her go-to potato order. <laughs> I, can't, I hate gummies, ham and cheese on a roll, bag of chips and orange drink, referencing the drink Lopez coin lands. If you know, you know. Commentators didn't know, which leads to more Tokyo. The guy, Danny, he wrote this article for Forbes. He's so, this is so well written. I sent him an email telling him that. We don't get good journalism like this anymore. Lopez was perceived to be too rich, too out of touch, and trying too hard. A common perception of many celebrities today. The internet is always happy to have a laugh at the expense of the rich and famous. Amen. But the discourse wasn't all jokes and memes. Several creators claimed to have received copyright strikes on their TikTok accounts in response to their critical commentary on the greatest love story never told. Copyright strikes can greatly affect a creator's reach and potential earnings for TikTokers to make a living from the video sharing platform. The move was viewed as a low blow from Lopez's team. TikTok creator Kyle Marissa said that her account had received copyright strikes on every single video that contained footage from the greatest love story never told. As a result, her account is now permanent banned. Quote, quoting myself, JLo's narcissism single-handedly crushed the main portion of my small business, Kyle Marissa said. I didn't even have the opportunity to download or save four years worth of my content that had been viewed over a billion times and accumulated over 50 million likes. Kyle Marissa has since created a new account but lamented the four years of hard work that was put into building her sizable TikTok following of almost 700,000, having lost hundreds of thousands of followers from the band. Ban. She told me that her earning potential has been severely impacted by the loss of her account. It has. Estimating that, quote, JLo has cost me more than four figures of income just for March 2024, unquote, which affects her ability to access necessary medical care. Yeah, I can't t get a colonoscopy anytime soon. Can't afford it. Uh, and you guys already know I'm overdue. And I miss Colon Cancer Awareness Month where I was going to use my 700,000 follower platform to talk about my experience. But, oh, J. Lulu had a fucking narcissistic meltdown. So that, she robbed me of everything. And if I die of colon cancer, it's on her. TikTok creator Quint, my friend Quint Roper Servent, said that he received a copyright check in response to a critical view of Lopez's documentary. And he was a J. Lulu fan. The video amassed millions of views before it was flagged and according to Quint was fair commentary. Intended to satirize the overwhelming narcissism I was witnessing. That is my favorite quote. Quote, we should be able to share our views about content we're constantly exposed to without being penalized, especially when we don't consent to being exposed to it. He said, it's time to question the celebrities being pushed on us and advocate for a culture that values open dialogue. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk on this article was in Forbes. J. Lulu been real quiet posting Instagram stories of old performances from 2018 today. That's it since this dropped. Just when this week couldn't get any better, my main account got banned. Yeah, all that hard work. So I'm gonna upload some, I'm gonna cry. Some, um, that's <laughs> Sorry.
Was Jennifer Lopez responsible for Kyle Marissa Roth passing away? Because a lot of people are alleging that it's her fault. Now if you guys remember, a few weeks ago Kyle's account got banned and there was a lot of speculation on why that happened. But according to this Forbes article, Jennifer Lopez was the reason why Kyle Marissa Roth's account got banned. Now in this article, it states that several creators claim to have received copyright strikes from their TikTok accounts in response to their critical commentary on the greatest love story never told. Now Kyle got it the worst because a lot of her TikToks contained footage from that project by JLo and it was because of that her account got permanently banned. Now this next part is key. Because her account got banned, she lost so much money from March which affected her ability to access necessary medical care. Now a lot of people didn't realize this but she was living with colon cancer this whole time. And I'm going to play you a clip where she talks about that a little bit and how she blames JLo for this. Estimating that, quote, JLo is costing more than four figures of income just for March 2024, unquote, which affects her ability to access necessary medical care. Yeah, I can't get a colonoscopy anytime soon. Can't afford it. Uh, and you guys already know I'm overdue. And I missed Colon Cancer Awareness Month where I was going to use my 700,000 follower platform to talk about my experience. But, oh, J. Lulu had a fucking narcissistic meltdown. So that, she robbed me of everything. And if I don't colon cancer on now keep in mind this is all alleged when it comes to jlo and kyle marissa roth but with this forbes article that came out last month and kyle's video of her talking about jlo causing her unalivement jlo is not looking good but what do you guys think let me know in the comments below i do have a few updates about our girl kyle marissa roth i told y'all if i heard anything i would let you know um so apparently Kyle was dealing with battling colon cancer and um, in her battle with colon cancer in the midst of that is when JLo had had her main account banned and taken down for copyright and apparently Kyle had said that uh, which I knew that this had really affected her I didn't know to this extent, but apparently that was her main money maker and her finances were struggling and it was affecting her colon cancer. And apparently Kyle even made a statement that said, if I die of, if I die of colon cancer, it's on JLo. I, I don't necessarily, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a, a lot right there. But um, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you what I just found out. That's, I have no, no, nothing to add on this, okay? Just giving you information. So, I'm thinking, well, I'm not going to say what I think, but that's, that's what I know so far, far, people are getting very angry. Tensions are getting high. Um, I'm you know all for bringing down the rich greedy mean all them but we also need to i'm a big big uh proponent of cooler heads need to prevail and finding out facts before you go berserk okay so i've just gave you some information that i know that's all i'm gonna say on that if i find anything more i'll update you some more okay guys so um let's not go and make any crazy accusations yet we don't know anything for sure so i'll update once again when i find out what the hell happened to the if you want more i give you more lady kyle what the hell happened to her who did it because there is no way in hell she just suddenly passed away and her family's talking about they don't know what happened oh my god <sighs> Who was it Nikki? Was it Diddy? Was it JLo? Which one of them was it? Because her all of a sudden suddenly not dying? Because if she was sick, wouldn't her family just say she passed away from an illness? Because I know in the past she like, you know, she had like some test results and everything like that. There is no way in hell her mother and sister would say, We don't know, we're trying to figure out what happened if she didn't have a fucking illness. So which one of them blind items that she read caused this? Because I'm trying to tell y'all something is not adding up here. You guys, I am shook right now. I just got on TikTok and the first post that I saw was about Kyle Roth passing away. Kyle had built her platform on reading blind items 
about celebrities, but recently she had pivoted a little bit and gotten more into conspiracy theories. And most recently, she was unleashing on J-Lo and the Kardashians video after video after video. And now she's gone. And no one seems to have any information as to what happened. I have literally been watching her videos for years, ever since I got on TikTok, and I'm, I'm, what? In case you want the proof or receipts, her own mother posted on LinkedIn, on her LinkedIn, not even on social media, about her passing. I'm, I'll show it right here. You can see right here, Jackie Cohen Roth. This is not a platform for personal life shares, but so many of my connections on this platform go back years and I have a devastating loss to share. My daughter Kyle has passed away. She touched some of your lives personally and some of your lives via her immense life on another platform. Kyle loved and lived fiercely. Nothing makes sense now and we'll understand more in the next few days. Be kind to one another, please. For the first time in my life, I'm speechless. Who done it? Who done it? Ah. Oh my God. Okay, leave your leave your thoughts in the comments, please, because I literally just am like I just can't even I can't even right now. This definitely reeks of foul play. Holy. All right, so you guys just heard all of that. Now, I didn't play all the clips I had in regards to Kyle talking about Diddy and the Kardashians and so forth and so on. I'm going to save that for a video that I'm working on that will be hitting uh, the YouTube streets in a couple of days. I hope I'm just trying to get all my ducks in a row. But the interesting dynamic about this situation is that I was told that Kyle's cancer was in remission. And there's a lot of people that are corroborating that same story that I was told, which makes me wonder right that is why her parents said and her sister said that they don't know what happened to Kyle because clearly if it was the cancer I mean they don't have to come out and tell us Jack but you know if they're going to come out and make a statement I would think that the mom would say that hey you know my baby gained her wings today you know cancer probably took her out and stuff like that or cancer did take her out but she says she don't know what happened and that they're still investigating as a family and that's really odd to me so anyway, I'm not saying that J-Lo is responsible. I'm not saying that Diddy is responsible. I'm not saying that the Kardashians are responsible because when you look at the J-Lo situation, right? You know, as an entertainer, when she sees or when her team sees that there are clips of her documentary flo floating around, they don't give a damn about your health status. They're coming to flag that because it's not doing particularly well anyway. So of course they're gonna flag you and they have every right to flag copyrighted material. Now, what I'm about to say, I promise you guys, is coming from a respectful place. I don't even like J-Lo, but you can't blame J-Lo because she had her material copyrighted, right, that you use and you think that she's supposed to have some type of pity for your health issues when this girl probably don't even know your story. Her team probably doesn't know her story. And given her track record and her nasty disposition, if she even knew your story, she don't really give a damn. Let's just keep it 100. She's not like me. If I was an entertainer and I had my stuff copyrighted that this woman used or whatever, if I heard her story, I definitely would be in contact with TikTok to get her account back up and running because if that's her bread and butter and that's how she takes care of herself and her medical expenses, listen, I'm all for it. Get her page up and running. Just take all of my clips down because I want her to be able to eat and take care of herself. That's just me and the heart that I have. But we know that J-Lo doesn't have that heart. She's a nasty, you know what. But, you know, at the end of the day, with all the information that Kyle had on certain celebrities and things like that, given her health issue, was she a perfect candidate to be knocked off and deleted by the powers that be? 
and basically try to instill fear into the family and coerce them into saying and the medical team that the cancer was the initial reason that she passed. Because once they find out you have some type of flaw, whether it be some type of an addiction or some type of ailment, you know, and things of that nature, they'll use it against you. Because, for example, let's look at Whitney Houston. I think that her bathroom was staged. I think all of those pill bottles that we saw and all the things that were just scattered all over the bathroom, I just think it was staged and staged. And they used that to say, well, you know, she already had an issue with illegal substances. So this is what took her out. But I believe that there was something else that happened. Right. So I'm just trying to say, is this applicable to this particular situation? Knowing that this girl had fought cancer and it was in remission. That's what I heard. But we do know that cancer has the possibility to return. Did somebody get to her or did she succumb to cancer is the question here. OK, and I think that this is a very plausible question to ask. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let this go right here. I want you all to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about everything that was discussed within this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, peace.